this is total anarchy! Ah! <laughs> Okay guys, welcome back to another one with us to Review Bros and today we're going to be looking at the Purge pre-workout by XL Nutrition, kindly sent down to us by Discount Supplements, so thank you guys. We're going to be covering all of the usuals, taste, price, label, effects. Is it going to be the next one you're going to pick up because it looks pretty cool, let's be honest. Look at that. If you are new here, please do subscribe, tick the bell icon and if you can like the video and comment below your thoughts on this pre-workout, it really does help us out. Thank you. Taste and mixability. So we have got cherry slush. I do know that it also comes in orange slush and blue raz slush, but cherry slush is our preference. So I've got it all mixed up. Let's take a look, let's have a taste. Let's see what we make of it. Okay, so it looks like, like a medicine sort of drink. There's like no froth into it. There's no particulation to it. It's very like see-through, translucent, should we say. And it's mixed really freaking well. Like there's a tiny little bit there at the bottom that's just sort of sat there. But you know, normally you get the whole bottom that's just got ingredients sat there. So yeah, better than average in my professional opinion. But anyway, let's see how it tastes. Nice. It's a bit watery down tasting, like quite weak tasting. But of course, if you want it stronger, you just have much, you have less water. Um, but yeah, it's not bad. I didn't get that. Could you try again? Siri's trying to get involved, for God's sake. Get lost. Um, so yeah, cherry flavour, definitely accurate, definitely tastes cherry, but like a weak cherry. Just a nice sweetness to it, there's no sourness to it. Very easily doable, it's a non-struggly one. So yeah, I'm going to give it a 7.5, actually no, scratch that, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. It deserves better than a 7.5, yeah, 8 out of 10. I think it's really decent, mixed decent, tastes decent, easy to do. If you want to pick this up, you'll head over to discount-supplements.co.uk where you can find this full 30 serving tub on there using our discount code RB5 for only £14.24. £14.24. I had to double check that because I was like, what the hell? Because it actually comes to 47p per serving, which very rarely, rarely as hell, lands on a 10 out of 10 on our scale on our price scale, consistent price scale of like that, which never happens, well very rarely happens. I think we've only ever had it happen pff, once or twice before, like it, it's so rare. So we do have to appreciate the fact that this is getting a 10 out of 10 price score. So you guys are probably thinking, 10 out of 10 price, what are you really gonna be getting for that on the label and the effects? Is it just gonna be a bit of caffeine in, in some sugar water? Well, let's find out together as we move into the label and the effects. Okay, let's get through this label then. So, uh, right, so 7.5 grams per scoop. So it's a lighter one, so do bear that in mind. It's probably like half as light as normal. I reckon like 14, 15 grams is probably the average these days for whatever that's worth. Uh, so first up we have beta alanine sieve at uh, 2,500 milligrams, which is good. I mean, it's not bad, it's not terrible. It's close to 3.2, so you should still get some tingly sensation effects from it. Obviously we prefer 3.2, but I'm just saying 2.5 is not too shocking to the point where it's not acceptable. So that's that amino acid that's gonna build up in your system and help with endurance. And does also give you the itchy tingly sensation. And then we move down to L-arginine aspartate and L-citrulline malate, one gram and 500 milligrams a piece. Now this is where it does take a nosedive to shit town, shall we say, because those dosages aren't acceptable. Okay, I don't even know where to start. So first of all, L-arginine isn't a great ingredient. You know, companies generally dropped that years ago in place of L-citrulline, the precursor to L-arginine, because it works a lot better. So yeah, L-arginine should help 
boost up nitric oxide levels in the bloodstream, similar to L-citrine, helping with blood flow and pumps, right? And they've gone for the synergy approach using both of them in the hope they work together well, which they probably would if they were at a higher dose, but at that dose, it's quite pitiful, especially the L-citrine at 500 milligrams. Like, I mean, we don't even know the ratio. So if it's one-to-one -one, l citrine malate, you're only getting 250 milligrams of citrine. Like, what are, we, what are we doing here? What's going on here? Um, so yeah, that's not gonna do much, but it should help with pumps just to simplify it. And then we've got choline, uh, choline bitartrate at 500 milligrams, which is, it's the worst form of choline. Okay, let's be honest, alpha GBC and CDB choline is much better. And it's also at a subpar dose. Like if it's gonna be choline bitartrate, we normally say a gram is the least we'll accept. So it's about half as much as what we'd accept as barely working at the worst form of choline. So it will have probably some very minimal effect, but it does struggle to cross the blood brain barrier. But yeah, it should help with focus and cognition. Do I think it will at that dose? Minimally, just honest. And then l taurine at 500 milligrams, roughly half what we normally see. It's that like jack of all trades amino. It should help with a bit of cognition, energy production, and pumps. Um, then we move down to caffeine and hydrous. Caffeine and hydrous powder, uh, 300 milligrams, which is a respectable dose, daily driver amount, three cups of coffee worth, the main stimulant that's going to tell your brain to wake up and get you moving. And then we've got guarana seed extract, 100 milligrams, which is another stimulant. It's going to pair nicely with the caffeine in the form of delivering energy and focus and drive. That's an okay dose. Uh, then we move down to L-tyrosine at a pitiful 50 milligrams. So yeah, I do have to call them out on that. We normally like to see a gram minimum. So you'd have to take like 20 scoops to get that. And that's two thirds of the tub gone. Um, so yeah, that isn't, that isn't great. And I'll be honest, I don't think it will do anything at that dose, but it should help with focusing and clarity. So it's a bit of a mixed bag, this one. Um, you can sort of see why it's so cheap. Because to be honest with you, I would want to be two scooping that, which knocks it down to 15 servings, which then obviously works out as like just under a pound ago. And then you'd be getting like five grams beta, a couple of grams between the L-citrulline and the L-arginine, um, a, a reasonable amount of choline. Um, caffeine obviously would be silly, that would go up to 600. And then the grana would be up to 200. So you can't even really do that unless you want to be stimmed up on caffeine. So. Yeah, anyway, the label doesn't look great, does it? But, 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 let's get into the real world effects because the labels don't always tell the absolute true story, do they? Okay, so real world effects of the purge pre-workout and it looks so cool on the front. I just wish you could flip it around and see an awesome label, but it's just not the case. It's very upsetting. And to be honest with you, I was expecting or, or wanting to come on here and slam it and say, it's shit, it didn't do anything. It's terrible, don't buy it. But it actually came together half decently. It felt like a typical daily driver. You know, you got a, a reasonable amount of energy. The beta aniline actually come in very strong, like more like three and a half, four grams, but probably because that's the only real major dosed thing in here. So therefore it takes the forefront of what's going on. So yeah, beta aniline is good. Energy is very smooth and consistent. Focus is reasonable. It, it, yeah, it just, it feels like you've had an energy drink, but with, a, with beta aniline and a couple of pump bits just to help blood flow, which is essentially what it is really, isn't it? So, I mean, I don't even know where to start on this one really. So there's no negative, so it gets points for that straight away. Like I say, energy is respectable, middle of the road, like five or six out of 10. Uh, the pumps, subpar, below average. Focus, well, it's just what you're getting from the caffeine, really. I mean, I'm not going to count the l tyrosine. So focus is probably around average, maybe just below. Um, so yeah, everything is sort of sitting around average, whether it be slightly above or slightly below. But there are no negatives, so it must gain some uh, merit for that, really. So obviously, super cheap, suitable for people on a budget, suitable for daily drivers. Definitely had worse pre-workouts from a label standpoint and from a real world effect standpoint for more money as well. So I do think it's worth the money, but take that with a pinch of salt because it's only worth the money if you are a beginner and you know you just want an absolute dirt cheap pre-workout to get you through it. It tastes nice, it looks cool, you can just, you know, it's not gonna break the bank, is it? What, 14 quid? So yeah, that's my thoughts on it really. There's not too much else to say. It's not for stim junkies, quite obviously. Yeah, budget-friendly daily driver.
feels like an energy drink with a bit of beta and averagey pumps. So yeah, that's my take on the purge. I wish I could say better things for it, but at the same time, it's not as shit as I thought it would be versus the label. So overall, I'm gonna give it a 5.5 .5 out of 10. So five out of 10 is absolute average. Bearing in mind, I'm rating the real world effects, not the label. If I was rating the label, it'd be like a two or three out of 10, but at least it's fully transparent. Um, so yeah, real world effects, 5.5 .5 out of 10. I'd say slightly better than average for a pre-workout of today's caliber. Bearing in mind, you know, there's no negatives. So, you know, we only really give below five out of 10 if it's starting to negatively impact you, you know, give you a headache, make you feel sick, make you feel jittery, make you uh, miss meals perhaps, and you, you don't want to be missing meals, keep you up all night, you know, um, make you dribble uncontrollably, like alpha your himbine effects. So there's so many horrendous things that a pre-workout can do to you. So I do think it is good when you find pre's that don't do any negative things for you. So yeah, there is something to be said for that. So anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. What do you think of this pre-workout? Would you pick it up? Do you think this was a fair review? Let me know. And as always, stay stimmed, but just not majorly on this one.